is Eric Phillips. I'm a deputy chief with Douglas County Fire and EMS Department. Today I'm going to read a book to you called I Told You I Can Play by Mr. Brian Jordan, published by Just Us Books Incorporated. Shall we begin? When Brian was a little boy, he was eager to do everything, but he especially loved to play sports. Brian loved to play basketball. Brian loved to play baseball, and he loved to play football. Brian's twin brother and sister were two and a half years older than he was. Brian wanted to do everything they did. He was determined to keep up with them. But the twins did not like their little brother following them around. I know the feeling. They tried everything to get away from him. Sometimes the twins waited until Brian went in the bathroom. They would try to sneak away and go out and play, but their mom and dad always spoiled the plan. When Brian was a little older, he wanted to play with his brother and his brother friends. But Brian's brothers thought a six-year-old was just too young to hang out with nine-year-olds. Besides, he was the only one who had a baby, had to be babysitted by a little brother. The older boys were tough. They played rough. The alleys where they played football was hard as a rock, but they would crash to the hard field, bounce back up, and keep playing. So Brian knew he had to be tough too. Brian wanted to play with them, but they wouldn't let him play. You're too little, his brother said. But I can play, Brian insisted. One day, Brian overheard his brother talking to a friend on the telephone. They were planning to play a game. I want to play too, Brian said. I told you you're too little. You'll get hurt, said his brother. Brian was so disappointed. He had to watch his brother and his friends play football. They were having so much fun. Suddenly, a player's mother called. Johnny, come home now, she demanded. Now another player was needed to replace Johnny. Brian jumped to his feet. I can play, let me play, he pleaded. Brian's brothers thought for a minute. All right, come on, he said. Maybe Brian will learn a lesson. He'll see that he's too little to play with us, Brian brother thought to himself. Brian was so excited, finally he could show everyone that he could play. At first, Brian's teammates didn't give him a chance. How could he show them that he could play if they won't let him run the ball? Then just as his brother was about to be tackled, he tossed the ball to Brian. Brian caught it. Brian ran with the ball. One boy tried to tackle Brian, but he dodged him. He dodged another boy, and then another. Kids standing up on the sideline cheered as Brian ran, raced up the field. Go, Brian! Go, Brian! They yelled. Then a much bigger player called Brian, thud. He threw Brian hard to the ground. Brian lay there with his eyes beginning to tear. Touchdown, someone yelled. Brian scored a touchdown. I 
All the players gathered around the new star. Some patted him on the back. Brian had done something really special for a six-year-old. He scored a touchdown against his brother, tough friend. This was great, a tall boy said. Brian looked at his older brother. He held the football firmly in his hand and said, I told you I can play. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this inspirational story. Always remember, well, there's a will, there's a way.